It's Fitter Friday here at the Second Swing Minnetonka location in the tour van. Thomas Campbell here. I'm here with fellow fitter James Tracy here to test the TaylorMade M5 and M6 drivers out. Really excited to take a look at some numbers. Yeah, thanks for having me. I can't think of a better way to start my mornings than watch you uh, melt drivers into the screen, Thomas. So it well, should be fun. Let's see how far I can hit it. Let's do it. All right, my friend, new head-to-head uh, -head comparison this morning. What, uh, which head we got you started with this got morning? Got the uh, TaylorMade M6 9 degree with the Graphite Design BB6X shaft. And that's, your, that's the shaft that's that the shaft I play right with now, my current right? gamer. Cool, yep. so yep. we're keeping that consistent. All right, well, yep. let's, hit, let's hit maybe five with each head. Just okay. kind of get a feel for what you think of the look and feel and Sounds see what the good. downrange performance looks like. That was a pretty ball. Yeah, I like that. Uh, you carry distance for you in size right around that 280 mark. So that's that's very similar yeah. to a lot of the numbers you've been throwing up with other 2019 models. Good ball speed. Great shape. Another nice ball flight. Beauty. Touch more spin on that one, Thomas, but. Yeah, I could have that a little bit, a little bit off. I mean, looking at the smash factor, it says 1.5, but I know I didn't quite catch that one as, as solid. I don't feel bad for a 1.5 miss. <laughs> <Every time. laughs> that one felt a little bit more solid. Uh, much more penetrating there. That yep. definitely had less spin. Yeah, 2100. That was a bullet. That was pretty good there. Yeah, that was excellent. Right. That felt real solid too. Yeah, that's pretty good there. Super, Thomas. Gave me that benchmark of 280 carries, so I had to kind of yeah, beat it. Yeah, you know, I was, I was <laughs> kind of trying to inspire a little bit of, uh, little bit of extra swing speed there. Yeah, felt Let's really good. Let's cut you off at four. I mean, that's a great pattern. Yep. Uh, even the one that you pushed off to the right a little bit, which I know is a miss you don't like, didn't have any spin on it, so it really didn't hurt you at all for distance. Yep. Um, and then you seemed, you know, other than you know, a little bit of a busy crown for what I know you like, um, the sound and feel you seem to be pretty happy with. Right? Yeah, it's, uh, it, was pr it was pretty... It wasn't as loud as some other drivers have, have sounded that I tested in 2019 models, but it, it, and honestly, it felt really solid. It felt yep. really good. Yep. Awesome. Well, let's, yep. let's spin that M5 on there and see how those two heads compare. Sounds good. Obviously, with the M6, they do make a D-type, which is mean, probably not a candidate for this one, but you know, I'd say maybe another 15 or more yards more left bias than yep. that. So the Guys who are watching, and gals who are maybe struggling with a miss to the right, that's a go-to head for sure. I would, yeah, I would agree for sure. I don't know if I'd quite fit in that category, although I do like to see the ball go left, and we have definitely, you know, we've played some drivers in the past, put me in draw bias, but yeah. I think that might be just a little bit too much draw bias yeah. for me. No, I'm very pleased with the standard settings. You're getting yep. kind of the ball flight we would want. Yep. So we'll leave the settings just neutral, so still okay. nine degrees. Yep, so on neutral the on the back here too, so I'll ride in the middle, Yep. perfect. Okay. Exactly. Loft at nine, which is typically what we test for you. All right, let's take her on a first date here. Very nice. Very tight. Pretty good. Ball there. Yep. yep. Felt solid. Another good ball. How's the head shape and uh, face angle compare on this model to the? Honestly, I like this one just a touch better. I don't yeah. know it. Doesn't seem like it may be quite as, as closed. I yeah. don't know, but it's like yeah, it's. 
That, I mean, That's, when we tested the ping drivers, you preferred, you know, the smaller, more tour design. TS3, yep. you've liked. Sub-Zero from Callaway, you've liked that look. So that, that yep. all matches with kind of the eye that you have for, for the shape of the driver. Yep. That looks pretty good. That was excellent. Yeah, that one felt real solid. That felt good, too. Surprisingly positive so far yeah. in this test, Thomas. For <laughs> even for you, who likes to depict hey, it's everything, it's going pretty straight. Under the so, sun. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm impressive. definitely too much of a perfectionist, that's for sure. But oh, well, it's just that it helps felt pretty good. It. Yeah, it's, it's a testament to these two heads. You're having a hard time picking them apart. I am. That's so solid too. So knowing you, I know you were forcing that one left to the line because you were <laughs> determined that those first three shouldn't have fell to the right. <laughs> and so a little harder golf swing. How did you know? Ah, I just know you, Thomas. We've worked with you before. <laughs> I even broke the tee on that one. Must have given after it pretty hard. Excellent. So, <laughs> well, let's get you a new tee, which yep. is a good sign that uh, even that tee didn't <laughs> like how fast that M6 was or M5 <laughs> either. Well, a couple things real early, Thomas, is you know, both of these heads are tremendous at getting you into those optimal numbers. I mean, yep. 150 on smash with both. So, you know, as yep. you like to nitpick your contact and your swing, I'm not going to let you with smash factor. You're <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm, I'm right where I need to be. So absolutely I can't. Absolutely yeah. perfect. Yep. 167 is great ball speed for you. You know, usually we're, when we've been testing heads this season, you've been right in that 165 to 168 range. Yep. So that's fantastic. And both models tremendously good on the spin. Not surprising, M5 just a hair lower spinning yep. at, uh, at 2358. Um, in terms of the right and left, M6, like we talked about, maybe a little easier to turn over in the standard yep. setting. So you had three balls yep. left of center. Three left of center and three right of center with the with, M5. With the M5. Yep. So yep. again, you know, like we've done in previous videos, you know, the fact that you like the look and the sound and the shape of the M5. Yep. You know, the fact that that one has a little bit of adjustability we can mess around with. You know, I'm kind of encouraged to try moving the weight in the heel like we've done in previous models. I also kind of want to see when we move the weight all the way back, how does that influence the spin? Theoretically, it should come up as you're pulling center of gravity back. Yep. And then maybe how much change do we have when we slam that weight all the way up to the front? You're getting good ball flight even in the standard setting. Yep. I know you're always greedy, you know, being a competitive <laughs> player trying to, you know, scrub an extra yard or two. So yep. I think that'd be fun to kind of throw the weight all the way back in the heel and then shift it all the way to the front just to Sounds see good. how much yeah. we can move the move the numbers. See what happens, right? Yeah. Yeah. So then it just kind of becomes a decision on do I want what's more important? Do do I want to see the ball fall left or not fall right or <laughs> do I want to try to, you know, get that spin rate into that really really perfect carry distance. Yep. Number which would, you know, for you be maybe 100 to 300 RPMs less, maybe. Yeah. Any kind of a little bit less spin, a little more distance. Like I said, if I can pick up one, two yards, hey, that's, <laughs> I'm, I'm being neck picky for sure, but. <laughs> you remember I'm your numbers after. a little bit better. You know, yep. 2358, we've tested pretty much all the 2019 stuff this yep. season at about nine degrees. Yep. Is that one of the lower spinning heads that you've seen in the standard? Yeah, I think set? I feel like I was ranging 23 to about 27, 28, okay. 100 may maybe. So yeah, a little bit maybe lower spinning head than a couple other models that we've, that we've tested for sure. Get me close to that 2000 mark and I can, as long as I hit it high enough, it's probably gonna go further. So again, we have move the weight into the full draw setting. So yep. both weights all the way back and then tucked a little bit in the, the heel side of okay. that, that T-track. Just to see what type of downrange maneuvering we can see. Let's fire four more if you would. In previous videos, we've also noticed that even the robot misses the center and your miss tends to be slightly in the heel. Mm -hmm. So sometimes putting a little bit of weight in that part of the face you know, boosts a little bit of the, your performance on the yep. heel side. So it'd be interesting to see how the next couple swings go with that. It's a pretty good ball there. 
That's pretty good. That's what that one felt like yeah. a little bit. Had a little Hideki uh, <laughs> one arm follow through there. We know that the result there wasn't going to be smashing. Yeah. Nice. A little bit of a reaction to that last swing, I think, but yep, that's what I do. Really good numbers. All golfers do that. Yeah, I mean, you're Can't always gonna not. you're always gonna compensate. You know, you miss one right. Usually, the next one, you know, <laughs> my golfer's probably gonna go left because you're yep. trying to fix it. So that's just human beings testing clubs. I felt pretty good. Pretty, pretty solid. You know what I was was interested to see there was the spin. So again, yep. we had the yellow pattern, three balls right with the standard weight setup. Mm -hmm. Move the weight in the heel. You got three of them to fall left, and then the other one still had a draw to it. I mean, it just started. It was a just a bit more, more. That was just me right. just trying to make sure I yep. get out to first base essentially and make sure I you know swing out to the right. And it's pretty much dead straight on yep. that one even. Smash Being factor higher. I mean, one five one. Sure. I don't know how I got there, but yeah. <laughs> but you know, as you move the center of gravity, that yeah. can influence how TrackMan measures club head speed. You know, just by a half mile per hour, one mile per hour. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking looking more at ball speed for sure. And you yep. know, we didn't see any drop off really. You know, so staying very consistently in that one six seven. Um, Spin what, about 150. RPMs higher. So that's it. You that's know, it. even yep. though a rear weighted CG should add spin, the fact yep. that you had more drawing, you know, yep. kind of washed kind a little of made bit up of that. For it there, yeah, that. Kind of kept the spin in a good spot. So I would say that, yeah, I mean, you gave up about five yards of carry in that sample size. Yep. But you got more balls to fall left like you prefer. So mm -hmm. yep. there's a little bit of give and take give there. Give and take there, yeah. Certainly what we've seen is that, you know, consistently with the 2019 product, not just with TaylorMade, but the other brands as well, you know, the movable weights are really helping us, you know, shape players' golf balls in the direction that they want. Yep. Or for you, eliminating the side that you don't like, which is, is right. well-documented. Thomas <laughs> Campbell doesn't like to hit it to the right. <laughs> yep, I hit it right for about 15 years. And then I figured out how to get it left the last couple of years. And, and then you got fit at second swing. And then I got fit. And then I don't ever want to ever hit it right again. Okay. So final test here. We slam that weight what all we the way here. up to the all front. Right. So I'm trying to be a little greedy here. I like being greedy. Give me less spin, more distance. We'll see how it influences off-center ball speed. You okay. know, it lowers the MOI maybe a little bit as you shove the weight that far forward. So, it's a good ball. Drifted right, but spin yeah, stayed right. at 24. So, yeah. you know, didn't lose any carry. Actually, it was one of your better carries I've seen you hit at 289. 289. Oh, there that you was go. awesome in, through the air. I don't have to worry really about those bungles flight. at 280 anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no fear. Great carry again, yeah. 288. And we're definitely seeing, again, because those ball. I know you don't like the ball that hangs a little right, but I mean, that's you get really better peak height yeah. on that ball flight, so you're getting more distance through the air. Mm -hmm. And it's not spinning, you know, it's still penetrating with those weights all the way forward. So, yep. you know, just so I'll cut you short here just for a second. You know, we're looking at total distance here on the left hand side mm -hmm. of the screen. You know, I flipped this to uh, carry distance. You know, yep. those are two of your better carries in this test so far. So, mm -hmm. you know, again, that's where, you know, depending on the conditions that you're playing, that might be a bigger change in your on course distance just by getting that ball to carry. Like you said, you got that bunker at 280. Yeah. You know, those extra eight yards can be a huge, 
and it's, it's going to be pretty wet here up in Minnesota here for the first couple of months for the snow way. melt. Yeah, so it's like August when carry like distance snow is definitely melts. important. You said it. Six nine almost on the ball speed there, Thomas. Almost. Does the driver feel sound different as we've s moved the center of gravity around? What would you say? Um, not an obvious. Not an obvious. I definitely noticed the difference in sound and feel versus the M5 though. The M. I uh, sorry, the M6. The M6 just maybe was maybe just a touch softer. M5. Yeah. Just maybe feels like it's just got a little slightly louder sound to it, but okay. M6 just feels sounds pretty sound pretty soft. Cool. Give me a chance to get 170, maybe. You can go after this one a little bit more. It's the 18th hole here, Thomas. Yeah. One more chance. I'm tired. 18th hole. Can't get there. But that was probably the best one I've swung swing I've had all day. Good way to finish. 169. You know, you're, you're closing in on your, uh, on your holy grail there. So that was really good. So again, that by far the best numbers we've seen um, maybe this season, Thomas, in terms of the ball speed and the spin rates. You know, yep. really impressive with the M5, you know, 1687 on the ball speed. I don't know if I've seen you average that high of a ball speed yet this season. You said I um, might get to 171 day, right? Right. <laughs> I think it's interesting as we look at spin. You know, I think, yep. you know, you read some literature and look at a catalog. You know, TaylorMade would, is definitely going to advertise spin rates changing quite a bit as you go from the back to the front. But what you got to keep in mind is that, you know, the shape of the shot is going to influence how a, a launch monitor reads spin as well. So yep. if you have balls that are falling left, curving left for you as a draw, you're going to see lower spin rates. Mm -hmm by moving the weight all the way forward and taking away some of that draw bias, you had three balls that stayed pretty straight, if not were falling a little bit to the right, which influences the spin it's access. It's gonna spin a little, a little bit. bit more, yeah. Correct, yeah. so, you know, I thought it was great. It's all, really, your spin was right, plus or minus 2,400 2, all throughout that test. Yep. So, all that was really influencing your carry distance was just that added ball speed that we saw putting the weights up front. You know, yep. that's not, surprising you know you shove the weight forward it will reward you on those centered strikes for sure yep uh, by giving you a little bit more ball speed and then that particular combination with the weight more forward and a little straighter ball flight you were seeing your highest peak trajectory at 111 yep. so I, to me that's where all that carry distance is coming from you know the, spin, yeah. the ball speed is minor improvements but we went from with the weight in the back 280 carry to 288 and it's mainly due to that 16 foot improvement in your peak height so yeah. same spin it's going to carry eight yards first we're going to roll out it's going to be going to be fine so yeah so yep. yeah you got a decision you know can i live with the ball falling right to pick up a little extra distance or do i need to see that that draw bias you know another setting you could try on this driver is they do offer an upright side to the tailor-made sleeve i yep. know that in your the cali driver you've been playing you have it on the D setting, right? Yep. Which makes it a little more a little upright, more upright. So that might help influence the downrange performance just a little bit more. Yep. Uh, that might be something that you look at. But yeah, would you say that for you, based on the data, you were kind of thinking M you'd be thinking M5 in this? I'd be thinking M5. This is the highest racing. carry distance I've had with any driver that I've tested so far. So yeah, for that sure. That stands out to me. Well, it's becoming a familiar trend, Thomas. We've seen with pretty much every 2019 driver by optimizing the settings. We know what types of heads you prefer. So today the M5 kind of won the look and feel contest. And just by taking the weight and moving it into the most optimal setting, we're really maximizing your performance. Um, I think you were surprised with the carry distance, especially when we move that weight forward. So, you know, really interesting comparison there. Um, had a lot of nice things to see in terms of the data and you had great feedback on the look and feel of both drivers, I thought. Yeah, this was the highest carrying driving that I've, driver that I've actually hit this year. I pushing 290, which for me, that's impressive. I mean, a couple years ago, I would be trying total distance with 290. So that yeah. really stands out. So now I can carry those bunkers that's out there, 275, 280, go after it a little bit harder, 
spin rate was down. That yeah. was that, that stood out to me as well. So yeah. not only was I carrying it 288, but I was obviously hitting a lot further because the spin was down too. It was consistent. You know, whether you're hitting draws or fades, that spin was staying right around 2400 RPMs, which we know we like for performance for you. So, yep. you know, really impressive stuff. Make sure to check out Second Swing. Come in and get fit. Thank <laughs> you.